Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Vapotherm's channel, a global medical technology company focused on the development and commercialization of proprietary Vapotherm high-velocity therapy, a tool used to treat patients of all ages suffering from respiratory uh, distress. Uh, joining us to talk about uh, some of the clinical trials, the device itself, uh, we have Jessica Whittle, the Chief Medical Officer, joining us. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. A pleasure to get you on. So I want to get right into this. What exciting clinical trials are you currently working on? Well, the most exciting thing that we have is a trial that'll be uh, made public uh, right at the beginning of the year. Um, it's called Hyperact, and it's a randomized control trial, multi-site, uh, performed in the U.S. with severe patients, uh, patients with severe exacerbations of COPD, high levels of uh, carbon dioxide in their body, and we randomized and compared to the standard care therapy, which is uh, bi-level positive pressure. So uh, we're really excited uh, to see this, and I think it will demonstrate exactly how severe a, a patient can be treated with our technology quite successfully. Now, before we talk a little deeper into this, I wouldn't mind rolling back. What led up to that aha moment? How did you get involved with Vapotherm? So I've been a practicing emergency medicine physician for almost 20 years, and I've spent my life in uh, the academic world. When I took care of a patient who had severe COPD in the emergency department one day and utilized high-velocity therapy compared with a mask-based therapy, um, it worked so well and the patient was so much happier that I was forced to rethink how I really think about how we ventilate patients. I was just forced to rethink the mechanism. And when I did that, um, it led to ultimately uh, continued research and eventually I joined the company. I really uh, appreciate the insights. Do you want to talk about uh, why this is so important for patients? So it's incredibly important for lots of reasons. So people treated with mask-based, pressure-based therapies uh, at least 30% of them will have real challenges with the mask. And when they're utilizing these other therapies, they often require increased levels of sedation um, and a variety of other problems. In addition to that, one of the things we're seeing out in the market is that the leading manufacturer of, of pressure-based, mask-based therapies that's uh, in the market in the United States um, is undergoing recalls and these machines are being taken away. We have to rethink how we take care of these patients. Our company provided for every patient need during COVID and will continue to do so. Um, we have really good uh, supply chain uh, infrastructure and a dedication to taking care of those patients. So um, patients need it and it works. That's why we care. So finally here, um, why is this so groundbreaking uh, and why aren't a lot of clinicians kind of utilizing this right now? Well, as I mentioned, uh, we were taught, everyone in my generation was taught that we needed pressure in order to keep open airways. And that was the way to ventilate patients. We forgot about the other mechanisms involved because we didn't have a therapy that worked. This is a new concept. It's a new therapy in a, in, that works in a different mechanism. And because it was never available, we were never taught that. And physicians don't have it in their minds that this is a good way to do it. When you bring it to them, when you show it to them, when you point out why and show them the math, then over and over again, we see clinicians all around the country go, oh, that's really great. And patients much prefer it. Both patients and clinicians consistently prefer it in clinical trials. So I'm really excited as our new data comes out that is even more convincing um, and you know, really solid evidence that says this works and patients like it. Well, on that note, I'll pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below. And again, consider subscribing because as news catalysts come down the wire, of course, we're going to bring it to you here. But on that, we look forward to catching you in the next one.